For the LX350 Unwind, this Unwind will hold two rolls of film. Right now we have two different sizes on the film Unwind, but there are hand knobs to unlock the side plates. So unlock these hand knobs, and the side plate will slide off to replace the roll of film. We'll lock the knob. Now the roll of film is locked in place. The Unwind also comes with a splicing table right here. So if we're changing size of film, like we're going to do in this example, there's a place right here that we can splice the film and web it through and around to the sleever. We're going to go through that process now. So splicing together, right now I have one larger lay flat, one smaller. To do an easier transition from the larger to the smaller without having to climb on the ladder, I'm going to show you how to splice and tape the film together. What I've done is cut the smaller one and we're going to put the larger one on. So on the splicing table, I can cut and splice these two films together. I have a piece of tape here. So I'm going to tape the film pieces together so they stick together. We do have splicing tape for this. However, I just have some blue tape so we can see it visibly. Now you can see the two pieces of film are now one. What I'm going to do is take this and follow it through the film path. I'll lift up the dancer bar cover here so that will alleviate any pressure on the film. I'll go over to the machine side. and pull the film all the way through until it comes across. As you can see, the film splice is going through film path and the dancer bar and up to the top of the machine. And as I pull this, I'm watching that splice come down where I can grab it and pull it. And now I have my new film ready and waiting to put on the mandrel. If you're using the same film lay flat size, in order to splice it and make it go through the machine, what we're going to do is have the two ends use a splicing table. I'm going to open up the new roll and insert the end of the old roll inside of it. What that's going to do is allow it to flow over the mandrel so it doesn't get stuck. Again, I'm going to insert the old roll inside the new roll. Now I have a seam here and add my splice tape on the top. And one on the other side. Now I have the same lay flat width spliced together. Now that the film is down here, I can put the film on the mandrel itself, and open the film, slide it over the fin, and slide it down around to the body of the mandrel itself. I'm going to stop the film right about at those black rubber wheels, and then use the machine to feed the rest of the way. For this application, we are using clear film, so we don't need the sensor. However, if you're using printed registered film, we want to make sure that this print registration sensor is located in the proper spot. So in this particular machine, we have a bracket where you can adjust this in and out. And so what we want to do is make sure that this sensor is reading in the gap of the mandrel so it can sense the clear area between the film.
So on the 350, we'll make sure the doors are closed, the film is fed over the mandrel, sensors placed, the film is brought down to the black rubber wheels. Now what we'll do is have the machine feed the film the rest of the way through. So on the HMI, we can go down through the HMI screens. On the HMI screen, what we're gonna do is go to the manual tab. In the manual tab, we have feed jog up and feed jog down. So we're gonna to wanna to press the feed jog down button to activate the feed wheels to pull the film down the rest of the way. We want to make sure we feed enough of the film so it comes down over the bottom portion of the mandrel and stop right there. Once we have the film fed to the bottom portion of the mandrel, we want to get it one cut, so we'll press and hold the cutter button and that'll cycle the cutter one time. After the film has been cut, we'll remove the band of film from the bottom and then push one cycle and hold it and that'll give it one cycle to where the film is going to be.